What's up guys, this is Matt. Uh, just drove all the way to Erie, Pennsylvania to get this boat. It's a new 818 Pro. It's a 2021 model, 154 stroke, 22 pitch Tempest Plus on the back. Um, I really don't see too many videos of individuals doing an overview on this boat. Um, most of them are all done by the dealers and they just flip the compartments over and don't really tell you the quality or what they really think about the boat. Again, I've not had this thing on the water. I dragged this thing home over the weekend. Um, I'm giving a once over, tightening up all the compartment latches, going over all the screws, fixtures, hardware. Uh, you know, overall, from what I can see on the boat, quality on it's pretty nice. Carpet's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to jump in this thing and show you a few measurements on it because I haven't seen too many dealers do that. And I don't know how much bigger it is than a 618 Pro because I've never been in one. Um, but I will show you on the tape measure what it's got and, and in general what I think of the boat. Um, gel coat quality on it's pretty nice. Um, it's a black boat, so it's going to show everything. Um, the only thing I've noticed on it so far is this one screw is missing there. Um, and then there's a little gel coat pop over here on this rub rail. Just let me step up in here. I'll show you a few things on the boat. About spilling my beer. Oh, yeah. Got two cup holders back here. One on the front. That's a little disappointing. I think my Caracal had like six cup holders or something stupid on it. And, uh... They're very functional at the sandbar. But uh, up here on the front, I've got two, seven, well, one of them's a swim bait rod. I think it's almost eight foot. But I just want to put this measurement on video in case a 618 guy can reply. Button this tape measure up to the bottom of the uh, uh, foot pedal recession. It's 55 inches um, is what it measures across here. So I don't know how much bigger the 618 or how much smaller the 618 is. Than this 818 but there's your first measurement on it maybe somebody can reply they give you rod straps for it these are made into the boat it's kind of nice that it came with that um let me step back here you open this box real quick there's a rod box you got your tubes up in the front somebody already asked me how big of a rod can you put in here um those two bigger openings on that side i was able to put an eight foot swim bait rod in there and push it forward never touched anything on top of that in the back you've got this rod organizer and there's a big space behind it um you could probably fit a nine foot nine foot swim bait rod in there that's my guess um i know all my swim bait rods fit in there so that's kind of impressive for a 18 foot six inch boat i'm not going to open every box on this thing keep this video short here's your slot for your bump board it's not in there right now i'm going to show you something in the back with it i guess to give you this little foam thing to hook your baits on it is kind of weird that phoenix does this they give you these drains those drain tubes are coming out of your uh seat post holes um i don't see any other manufacturers that do that just kind of odd but this compartment shut nice stainless steel compression latches again i went over all the hardware on this old boat already everything on it's kind of stripped out or loose on the phillips head screw side of things um maybe there's some phoenix fanboys out there that might not believe me but there's two screws right there. You can see they're they're pretty mauled up. Um, again, not a big deal. At least it's all stainless steel hardware. It's able to tighten it all up. Um, the only gel coat imperfection I found on the boat, this probably came out of the mold like this. There's like some type of little gel coat pop right there on that radius. Uh, I'll probably just hit it with some black marine text or something. And uh, you know, I went over almost every screw on this boat. I, I put a Phillips head in. All the windshield screws on these uh that's kind of nice this windshield comes off you got little quick detents pop the glass off put your cover on won't rub through your cover uh kudos on them for uh coming out with something like that uh, i am appreciating some of the designs on this thing same with up under here <clears throat> for your hot foot they scalloped out the side of the uh console to accommodate that hot foot and prevent it from hitting anything up in here um, just kind of another nice design on the boat. You got a floor drain, which I guess seconds as a net holder. Um, thought that was kind of unusual. Unusual design. Haven't seen that many boats. Um, again, I'm not a Phoenix guy. Um, this thing always kind of irritates me about these boats. This box flips open and it touches a fiberglass. So they stuck this thing right here. Actually, I had to move it down because it, was, it wasn't pr protecting the fiberglass. Um, but again, overall, that's minuscule, um, on new boats these days. Um, you know, 
I, I have an eye on the water, so I'll probably find a couple other things. I did want to show people this because um, I've not seen anybody say anything about the live wells. These live wells are tiny, um, which will be fine around here because we don't catch big fish on Lake Norman. Rarely. I rarely ever do. Uh, but I have caught some 20-pound bags on Wiley, um, and some of those fish are pushing 20 inches. So here's an 18-inch call board. Stick this thing in here. True measurements on this live well are 22 inches across this way. So that fish has got this much room to move around. Big girl's going to be in their nose down. Um, this way, from front to back, 17 and a half. This way is uh, 16 or something like that. So, you know, again, 18 inch fish, can't turn around in here. Um, you Florida guys are, you guys are getting in the big ones. I don't know how good these levels are gonna work for you. Um, it'd be cool if they just put a divider in here and then made it to where you could open it up and, you know, have those bigger fish do better. Um, but overall, looks pretty nice. Um, they, uh, they put everything together pretty decent on this boat. Here's one of your rear boxes, plenty of room in here for stuff. Um, I used to always keep a motorcycle helmet in my bass cats. Doubt I'm gonna need one on this boat. Uh, I'll be impressed if it runs 60, but you could fit that in there and then some. Um, so those are pretty big compartments in there. A lot of storage on this boat for 18 foot six. Um, apparently it's 18 foot 11 to the rear spots. So it's a little bit longer. They, I guess Phoenix measures theirs from the transom to the nose. Um, I had the same outboard on my 2015 Sabre. Great little motor, um, really easy on fuel. Let me show you the bilge compartment. It came with these batteries in there. I'm gonna replace those with 31 um, AGMs. I do have some 31 series trays I'm gonna install in here. Just dropped one in there to see how much room I had. And uh, there's room for two on each side if you wanted to run four batteries or something like that. Um, don't have that lithium money yet. And I've seen them set a couple boats on fire, so really not that interested in them quite yet, but that's just a quick overview on that. Let me jump down and show you the trailer real quick. And, uh, and maybe I'll do another video on this thing on performance or on the water or something like that. So the trailer, uh, I guess it's a Marine master. I've read a bunch of stuff about Phoenix trailers having some issues here and there. You get on Bass Boat Central, where you people talking about problems with them. But it looks pretty solid. I mean, did find coming from Pennsylvania. Some nice diamond plate trailer. Uh, fit and finish is very nice. Some kind of gator hide or some type of um, crinkle coat paint on this thing, I guess. Um, C frame under here. A couple rollers. I did have to uh, work some of the wiring. All the slack in the wiring and the uh, the brake lines was all towards the back. I had to work it to the front to be able to fold the hinge, um, which. It's a little tricky to get that thing out, not that bad. But overall, the boat, uh, the boat's pretty clean, guys. Um, Phoenix has come a long way. I guess on the Elite Series, they've gotten rid of these plastic panels. Um, it'd be nice if they did fiberglass on this and the dash one. Um, but again, for the price, kind of can't knock them. Um, upholstery on the seats. Uh, these seats are nice. Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty quality. Um, I don't know what kind of vinyl they use or what grade this carpet is. Carpet's a little bit cheaper than a Bass Cat. Um, but, you know, overall savings on this boat, I got a steal of a deal on it. And it's, you know, it's pretty sharp. Um, hopefully I get your performance video on the water. And uh, maybe I can show you some bigger fish stuffed up in that live well. Um, but I just want to make a quick video on some dimensions on it, show people the live well, some little odds and ends that um aren't shown in a dealer video so uh stay tuned maybe i'll get a part two out soon